Fox's Helplessness Blues. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for an album review. The latest LP from Fleet Fox's Helplessness Blues. Fleet Foxes is a Seattle band which produces very heavenly, very ambitious acoustic music. Call it folk, call it baroque, call it indie folk, call it whatever. This, My Needle Drops, is the most romantic record of 2011. This LP is romantic because it's such an idealist album. It finds love, it finds beauty in, in everything. It finds inspiration, joy, melody, poetry in, in apples, and even the fur of a collie. And, and there's something about that that just captivates me. And I'm sure a lot of people will be singing the second album blues over this LP. You know, is this one better? Is that one better? Is this one better? Is that one better? What does Cal Chichesta think? You know, I would, but uh, I'm very allergic to fish. See, that, that doesn't even make sense because it doesn't matter. What matters is, do you enjoy this album? I do. A lot, actually. Of course, this band's sound hasn't changed greatly since their last LP. Fleet Foxes still has a very all guns a blazing approach to spinning these acoustic yarns, bringing in every instrument that they can get their hands on, from pianos to strings to flutes, doubled up guitars, a free jazz saxophone on one of these tracks, and of course the band's gargantuan vocal harmonies. A better recording quality of this LP, more arrangements, more effects. This thing just sounds like a bigger production. Plus, I love the vocal reverb on this thing. It just sounds so natural. It doesn't sound really synthetic like a lot of reverbs do today. It sounds like they're singing in a grand hall of some sort. It's a lot to take in at once. It's not easily digestible in one sitting. And because of that, because so much is going on, things could easily go awry. If you throw in too many ingredients, your soup can quickly turn into slop. And maybe to some of you, this album sounds like nothing but an acoustic mess with vocal harmonies over it. And if it does feel that way, I implore you, listen a little harder, and also stop listening to your low bitrate album leak that you downloaded somewhere off the internet. Because for me, this album is built so intricately, it's built so masterfully. I love that I can pull little sonic details from it every single time I visit it, like the little strings plucking away in the right channel quietly on Sim Salabim, and the little notes that I pull out every time of the guitar jam at the end of that song. And I really love the song subjects and the theme going on with this LP, what I perceive to be a theme, that is, uh, my favorite of which being Helplessness Blues, a track that I reviewed earlier this year. And to me that song is just about realizing that you're, you're just a small part of this grand, grand world. And I haven't heard anybody sing about that with any sincerity, real sincerity and passion since the microphones. And that track is also just about wanting to serve a, a greater purpose uh, in life. Uh, something that maybe is a little more fulfilling. And I can relate to that feeling. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I'm on the right path. Sometimes I wonder if doing this is the right thing to do. <laughs> to me, Helplessness Blues, everything Fleet Foxes have done in the past has been improved. From sound to melody to songwriting, the unconventional song structures, just, just everything, everything, everything. But I can still smell cynicism bubbling up. Fleet Foxes have done this before. Simon and Garfunkel, Crosby, Stills and Nash have done this before. I feel like there are some legitimate claims that could be made, like maybe the vocal harmonies and the extra instrumentation in this album, and maybe with Fleet Foxes just in general, maybe it could be a little overbearing for some people. Maybe a lot of songs here kind of fizzle out or just end in a very unexpected way. But I think that has created 
a situation that I really love about this album, and that is, when I put this on, I really have to listen to it from beginning to end, because I feel like every song here would be weaker if you pulled it out of the album and listened to it by itself. Every track has a different part of the story to tell in this old, dusty, leather-bound book that I'm flipping through in a rocking chair on a creaky wood floor next to a window with the morning light creeping in. A uh, fire is lit five feet away from me. An old hound dog is sitting at my feet and I am sipping some herbal tea. I'm mint! So I'm feeling a, a, a light to decent nine on this one, guys. Uh, enjoying it a lot, but you know what? Scores don't matter. Listen to this for yourself. Make your own decision. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. Alright? But I love it. I'm loving it. Okay? Alright, Fleet Foxes. Helplessness Blues. Forever. Forever. 